Greetings YouTube and welcome to my first of six different videos on each class broken down by offense, defense, and overall utility for each class in the Marvel Contest of Champions universe. You know, I tried a tier list, oh, a couple months ago, and really the, uh, the major takeaway from that was that you never ever want to try to talk about a hundred plus champions in one video unless you want to talk for an hour and who the hell wants to listen to an hour video on YouTube. So I decided to do two things from that besides listen to all of your very helpful advice. I decided to break these down per class so we could actually take our time talking about each champion of each class and then make them in ascending and descending order from what I saw offensively, defensively, and overall. Yes, there's always going to be some heated debates in this community about each class, and I think that is so awesome. So if you agree, disagree, I love your input because I want this to truly be a reflection of how the community feels. And this really is geared toward helping new players that pull a champ and want to simply decide, are they going to be great? Do they suck? Can they be a defender? What should I do? This tier list is for them. It's not for the people that have been playing the game for three years. There are uh, far more advanced tier lists out there to fit those people's needs. I feel like this is really just, hey, I downloaded the game. I've got my first three star. How good are they? Uh, but anyhow, uh, as always, thank you for your input. And let's get to talking about these champs. So Void is the top of the list of these science champions. Void is someone that w awakened with a high signature ability is unstoppable. He is somebody that I cannot imagine no matter what happens to the game, no matter how the meta changes going forward, he's always going to have value because you can turn regeneration into degeneration, and that is just truly incredible. No one else does it quite like Void, and I have seen so many fights in Alliance War, especially in the top of Alliance War, where you have paths that seem unbeatable, but you bring in Void, and suddenly... They're very, very beatable. Now, offensively, I gave a perfect 50 out of 50, but defensively, uh, he does suffer a little bit. Still a very, very good defender, but if you bring in Blade, if you know how to dodge special ones, uh, Void can be rinsed pretty quickly. Certainly, there are other defenders here in the science class that are not as exciting to see on your path. But 93, best champ overall in the science class, someone that you should be very excited to open. Now, Quake... My boo, very hotly, controversially uh, talked about champion. It's been debated so often in the science class. But personally, my favorite champion of any class to play with. She is so much fun. The only champ that can have fun not ever getting hit and not ever hitting the, the uh, def defender, technically, and still winning the fight. I took one point off for offense because there are a few nodes that leave her pretty much as a, a bad option but I also want to say in her defense most champs there are just nodes that they are not good for but I think Quake even in the current state of Alliance War still wrecks people I get videos all the time from the Quake believers out there the Quakers you know who you are that uh, bring her into like master tier level Alliance War and still do crazy good work as a defender she's not bad but she also, kind of like Void, can be wrecked pretty easily with the right counters. So I gave her a 40 out of 50 on defense and an 89 overall, which still comes in as the second best science champ overall. Now, Modok, crazy underrated as an attacker. I love Modok. In fact, someday, maybe soon, I'll, I want to do a video just talking about the best champs to open if you're new. If you If you suck at the game and you want the champs that make life really easy... As attackers, Modok is one of those champs. Insane damage. All you have to do is parry and then do a heavy attack, and the incinerate damage alone destroys people. I love fighting with Modok, and I sure as heck don't like facing Modok on defense. Still one of the best defenders in the game. Still gets plenty of kills. 50 out of 50 on defense, 88 overall. Now, Red Hulk used to suck, but then the game was like, hey, we will improve Red Hulk. We will improve Luke Cage. Uh, a champion we'll talk about in a moment, and Red Hulk all of a sudden became one of the best science champs in the game. Crazy good damage on offense, available as a six star, and a very underrated defender. Yes, the special one can be baited fairly easily, but those heat charges, well, that heat damage still gets me quite often, especially in arena. I always seem to fight six star 
Red Hulks in matches 11 through 15 of the five-star featured arena. Now, Gladiator Hulk, very similar to Red Hulk. Very, very good Hulk. Uh, offensively, fantastic champ. Defensively, very solid as well. Coming in at an 85 just like Red Hulk. Now, Infinity War Captain America. I didn't actually know the power of this champion until recently when I was sent six-star rank two videos of this person doing some of the highest damage I have seen of any champion. Almost a perfect offensive score. Instantly one of the best science champs as an attacker. As a defender, not the best, not the worst, but still just kind of a 35 out of 50. Comes in at an 83 overall, but if you just want an attacker, you want to pick yourself up at Infinity War, Captain America. Now Wasp is not great at anything, but she's very good at both offense and defense. A glass cannon champion, if you will, meaning her health is pretty low, but she can wreck people and take them by surprise, and I've still seen her as a beast, as a defender in Alliance War even, on some paths, and also as an attacker. Electro, the newly five-starred Electro, is also a glass cannon champion with very low health, but what he lacks in health, he makes up for in damage when you hit the guy. Great defender now that he's a five-star, but you do probably need to awaken him with a high sig level. So a lot of people won't have that five-star version available. But 45 out of 50 on defense, still a very solid defender and attacker. Underrated attacker. I just wish he had more health. Now, Luke Cage, as I mentioned, used to suck as well. In fact, I would say he was one of the top five worst champs in the whole game. But Kabam decided to improve him, and as an attacker, he is amazing. I've also continued to see people bring him in for Alliance War Attack, and he does great work. Now, as a defender, he is not as good as most of the people above him on this list. Even though you have that indestructible uh, ability, you still have such easy specials to dodge that most people who uh, are very skilled at the game can still take him out easily in Alliance War. I would not recommend putting him on defense. So there you go. Now, Hulk, OG Hulk, used to be one of the best science champs in the game, but man... The years have changed so fast in the science class. Still a solid attacker, though it has always annoyed me that you have to get down to 20% health or less to be really good. I mean, who wants to lose 80% health just to maximize their attack? But against the Collector, remember that, because you can use level 1 revives and still wreck the Collector <laughs> as long as you stay alive. And uh, Defender, not terrible, but... One of those champs that once you get used to fighting his animations, you will not die to him in Alliance War. Now, Spidey Classic, even in 2018, in October of 2018, still has tremendous value on uh, defense. And that is fantastic. Now, this is one of the few champions I will say, not only is he worse uh, of a champion as an attacker when you awaken him, but you don't want to awaken him as an attacker at all because you get these random evades, it messes up your parries. He is not fun to play with once awakened, but still a very, very solid option on defense. I see that guy almost every time on the limber, unblockable special one mini boss node of Alliance War. Now, Yellow Jacket is another champ, sort of like Wasp, that isn't great at anything, but is very solid at both defense and offense. Yellow Jacket is also still a very popular choice for an unblockable special one node. I love playing with Yellow Jacket. Still one of my favorite champs in the science class, despite the ranking. Go Yellow Jacket. Now, World War II Captain America, once upon a time, was arguably the best science champ, but... The time has changed, and World War II Captain America, now both Captain Americas and Art Infinity War are straight trash defenders. Cap gets better than OG Cap for the bleed damage on the Special 2, but was not available as a 5-star, and that really hurt him. And OG Captain America, not a terrible champion, but also just toward the bottom of the list of science champs. Speaking of the bottom of the list, we're going to talk about Sentry. Not as total trash as he used to be. But now I still think, given what he was supposed to hyped up to be, the power of a million suns, and now he's like a power of one iPhone 3 battery, uh, just very disappointing to me. I, I hate this champion. I know a few people that still use him and like him, but he just should be a science tier version of Hyperion, and he simply is not. Miles Morales, also a champ that I know some people love to fight with, but the random evade just gets me every time. I can't fight with that champ very well. And as a defender, the random evades will help, but still, there are better options out there. 60 out of 100. Abomination. Attacker, straight average trash. But defender, that poison still gets you. If there was a 5-star version, kind of like Electro, the value would go up. But until then, 35 out of 50 on defense. Rhino is underrated for both attack and defense, but I feel like Rhino has the most value 
for those newer alliances that haven't really fought him that much because the unstoppable when he charges is going to be really fun to play with as an attacker and it's going to suck to face as a defender. You just really have to time. Uh, Rhino special twos are, specials ones and two I should say, are very easy to dodge. You just have to get used to them and then you're, uh, you're good to go. Ant-Man as an attacker should be amazing according to the movies and the comics, but he sucks in this game. And yes, I know that there are synergies to make him better, but this is not a synergy video. This is strictly pulling the champ and even awakening them, seeing how they do. As a defender, the glancing still helps a lot. In fact, this is one of those champs that if you are new to the game and you really need to up your combo, you're not going to want to fight Ant-Man's anytime soon in Alliance War defense. Spidey Gwen should be really good. Isn't even close to good. Generous 25 out of 50 on attack because the special 2 does do a decent amount of damage. But the special 1 needs to be changed immediately. That's one of the things I hope to talk to Kabam about uh, among many things in their Q&A. Actually getting Spidey Gwen special 1 to be much better. And uh, defensively, <laughs> just a total joke. No one should ever put Spidey Gwen on uh, as a defender. She-Hulk, I think you, you could argue deserves to be higher on this list. Especially with the block and heavy attack damage she can do. But she's the only Hulk that hasn't been buffed by Kabam. I mean, Kabam, are you sexist? Why are you doing all the male Hulks but not the female? Something's wrong with this picture. Uh, She-Hulk just needs to be improved upon. One of the worst science champs compared to everybody else in the game. And I think in this current state of the game, since willpower was nerfed to the ground, Joe Fixit has lost all of his value. Uh, doesn't do good damage at all. Uh, has some stun value with the special two and uh, poison immunity, but just not great overall. Joe Fixit needs a buff badly. He needs to fix himself before he can Joe Fix anything else. I um I just wish he was better, and hopefully the champs at the bottom of this list will get better. So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree with some of these ratings? I really want this to be a reflection of the community. I realize not everyone's going to agree no matter what. But if, you know, something's within one or two points, whether offensive or defensive, that's what I want. If it's 10 or 15 points off, now that's a problem. And maybe you feel that some of these ratings are off. And as always, just please be constructive. I will take uh, any feedback that you can give that's constructive, uh, good. Just uh, try not to be too, uh, too rude, you know. I want this to be a help to the community. It's something that I do. And I've put a lot of work into this. I, I ran a focus group on one of my uh, last streams before I left for New York in order to uh, make sure that I got plenty of feedback from the 60 people that were in the stream. And thank you, everybody, for who, uh, for submitting your, your ideas because I took every one of them into consideration and adjusted the scores accordingly. So there you have it. That's the first of six different videos on my tier lists. And I, uh, I hope to continue to develop them in the coming months and years as long as I'm blessed and lucky enough to have a MCOC YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and thanks, as always, for supporting my channel.